Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to take a look at the APIs provided by the Shinobi NVR software. So in the previous video we installed Shinobi on the Jetson Nano device and in this video we are going to take a look at how we can access the APIs to, um, to get the monitors or to download the videos directly from the Shinobi. So let's get started. Now as I already mentioned in the previous video that using the browser on the Jetson device can consume a lot of power so I'm not going to use the browser uh, from my Jetson device so I have opened I have connected uh, my Windows PC in the same network as my Jetson device and I'm now going to do all the operations from the browser for my Windows PC instead of the Jetson device now this is the link for the the API documentation for the Shinobi there are lots of features available but before that I mean in order to access any of the APIs of the Shinobi we need the authentication so we need to get the API key and the group key in order to access any of the API for the Shinobi. Now let's see how we can get the API key. So let's first open up, uh, open up the brow, open up the new tab, and uh, start our Shinobi. So and here I will log into my Shinobi. Perfect. So as you can see, we have our two monitors, which we recently uh, added in our Shinobi uh, software. Now, in order to get the API keys, we need to scroll down a bit here and click on the API keys. There are two options. You can either get the API key using the API itself as well, or you can easily get the API key using this uh, UI from the software. So let's click on the API key. Now here you need to mention the IP address of the system, which is going to access the API key. So you can mention the IP address of the Jetson device if you are going to access the API key from the Jetson or you can mention the API key for that particular device for which you want to give the permission. So I am currently using the Windows PC. So this is the uh, IP address of my Windows PC. Now after that, these, these are all the permissions which you will you can gain gain uh, give to that particular device. So I'm going to give full permissions here and then I'll click on add new. Now this is the API key which now I'm going to use in all my uh, uh, operations related to the APIs. Now other than this another API another key which we need is a group key. So for the group key click on the account settings and then from here you will see this is your group key. Now once you have the group key or and the API key we can go back to the API documentation and then we can start to um, have a look at which APIs we need. So let's say we want to first um, Which API we should try first um, Let's try to get the monitors first. So let's click on this and uh, this is the URL you can access So this URL will give us the list of all the saved monitors which we have so we have two monitors So let's see if this URL gives us what response so I'll copy this I will open a notepad and then paste it here now I'm going to first enter the IP address here which I have so this IP address will be the IP address where your Shinobi is hosted in my case it's on the Jetson device now here you need to mention the API key so let me just quickly copy my API key from here uh, where is the API keys and let's copy this and then we have monitor and then we have to mention the group key so let's also copy the group key which is present in account settings perfect now if i copy this and paste it in my browser this should probably give me okay for some reason it seems not to be working Okay, maybe we need to mention no I think I forgot to mention the port number so let's also mention the port number yeah so we forgot the port number so now you can see that it has given us a list of the monitors this format is a bit confusing but I believe this is the details of our first monitor and then this is the details of our 
second monitors because we can see the id here it's showing as camera record so we have created one monitor to record the videos from the camera and then we have created another monitor to watch the videos from the camera so that's why it's just showing us two videos here sorry two monitors here which is fine which is what we wanted but let's go back to the api documentation and try to see if we can get uh, okay so you can also get a uh, details of a single monitor as well by its monitor id so let's copy this and instead of uh, what is the url so after the group key we have to mention the monitor id so i'll enter the monitor id here uh, so let's go with this monitor id camera record and then i'll paste it oops let me just reload it and then here I will mention camera record perfect so it is it has now given me the details of a single monitor by using the monitor ID which is fine now let's see how we can download the video so if I go back again in their documentation page and here is get videos now if i click on this so get videos for a group key get videos for a monitor so let's use this api key so what does this say after the url we have to mention the api key then we have to mention the videos and then the group key and the monitor id so what i'll do so so instead of the monitors we just have to mention the video so i'll go back in my browser and then here instead of monitor i will just simply mention the videos and everything else remains the same so let's hit this okay so here we can see it has given us the list of all the videos which it has saved there are a lot of videos it has saved and if we try to understand the response it is showing us the time i mean the time from where it has started recording and the end time also it is showing us and inside this this is the file name which it has created and i guess this is the url this is the URL through which we can access the camera. I mean the video. So what let's do, let's open this URL. So I guess this is the API key. This is the video. This is the monitor ID. This is the monitor. Uh, sorry, this is the group ID. This is the monitor ID. And then this is the video file name. So I think if we just mention the file name at the end of this URL, it will open that particular file. So let me just copy this and I'll paste it here and let's run this perfect so it has now opened the stream from the camera so this is the recorded video which we are playing and I suppose if we just change the time here it will load that particular file as well so instead of 26 if I mention 25 then it will mention yeah okay so i guess this is how we can uh, download the videos as well so if i go here and I, I will be able to download the videos from here which is which is very good so you might notice that the time here is a bit different from the time which it is showing that's probably because my jetson is running in some different time i've not set the time properly and the camera is running in some different time so i guess using this api we can download the videos and there are lots of other other APIs features available. You can even do, do the object detection using TensorFlow or uh, the YOLO as well. So there are lots of other uh, features available in the Shinobi. You can set up Shinobi on Ubuntu or any other uh, device, let's say Raspberry Pi or uh, maybe Jetson Nano. And then you can take advantage of all these features and the APIs provided by it. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.